get ready to savor the authentic taste of Tamil Nadu with this vegetable kurma recipe. Let us start by chopping the vegetables. First, chop the carrots into small pieces as shown in the video, ensuring they are not too small or too large. Next, chop the fresh green beans. Then chop the tomatoes, 2 to 3 in quantity. Then finally chop onion 3 in number. Slit 3 to 4 green chilies in half. We will also need green peas either fresh or frozen and 13 to 15 cloves of garlic. Heat a wok or kadai and add 1 and half cups of water. Gradually add all the vegetables to the water. Note that we are not adding oil at this stage. Add one and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder and two teaspoon of salt. You can adjust the salt as per your taste. Mix well and let the vegetables cook on a low flame for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, let's prepare the coconut gravy which is the base of this recipe. For the gravy, we need 1 cup of grated coconut, 5 green chilies, 1 inch of cinnamon stick, 1 star anise, 4 cloves, 1 tablespoon of poppy seeds also known as khaskhas in Hindi and 10 cloves of garlic. Grind all these ingredients in a mixer grinder to a smooth paste. Add water while grinding. Once the vegetables are cooked, add 1 cup of cooked moong dal and 3 mashed potatoes. This will bind the gravy and give it a good consistency. Add the coconut gravy and mix everything well. Add water as required and bring it to a boil. Now it's time to add the tatka or tempering. Heat ghee in a pan or an iron ladle specially used for making tatka. Add 2-3 to three bay leaves, some black stone flowers and curry leaves. Pour this mixture into the kurma and close the lid. This will infuse the flavors into the curry, making it more delicious and aromatic. It is best to serve any coconut based gravy after it rests for 2 to 3 hours. It tastes even better the next day. Serve the kurma with roti, chapati, or steaming hot idli or dosa. enjoyed my recipe please remember to hit the like button and leave a comment or feedback if you are new to this channel please press on the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any delicious and tasty recipes thank you